Where were the police boxes in Mitcham? I thought this would be quite a simple thing to find out, but but it wasn't. So let's have a look at this article from the Stratham News of 10th of December 1937. Use the blue police boxes. You can help in an emergency. Whether accidents or crime, on the move in six seconds. The article starts off with, Why won't the public use the police call boxes? Within half a mile of everybody's house, there is one of these familiar blue boxes with a flashing light on top, a miniature police station combined with a first aid station. The Metropolitan Police have gone to great expense to provide the boxes to enable callers to have immediate service, but the public seem reluctant to take advantage of the facility. If residents would get to know the locality of their nearest box, they could communicate direct with the police. But where in Mitchum were they? Let's have a look at some maps. Using the georeference maps on the National Library of Scotland website, where they've digitised all the survey maps, I found three in Mitchum. Let's have a look at them. They're marked on the map as PCB, Police Call Box. And this map was surveyed in 1951. Let's zoom out a bit. It's basically Figs Marsh, opposite Lavender Avenue. There are aerial photographs on the Historic England website which can be useful. The subject of this one was the Renshaw factory on Locks Lane. This was... 6th of June 1953. So here's the Figs Marsh at the bottom. Stratton Road. Knox Lane, as I just said. The London Road. And right down the bottom, we can see the police box. And that's Lavender Avenue. You might be wondering why all these people are standing at the edge of the road. This actually was a Saturday, and the Queen, recently crowned, was on her way to the races at Epsom. To the Derby. Right, the second one. This was next to Smith Meters near Long Thornton Road. Again, this map is a 1951 map, it shows meter works. And there's a police call box on Ryan Road. And again, we have an aerial photograph on the Historic England website. There's a number of photographs of the Smith Meters works. So here's the Rome Road, there's Long Thornton Road, and this one was 24th of June 1947. And we've got it over here. And there's the police call box. And next to it is an air raid siren. The third one, PCB, police call box, is near the corner or the junction with Common Side East, a manor road. Today there's a, a mini roundabout there. So the call box was right about where that red car is now in this aerial, aerial photograph. So that's it. Those are the three police call boxes I could find using the geo-reference maps of Mitcham in the round 1952. Now there was a website about 10-15 years ago called the Police Box Map and it's got a copyright notice there of 2011 which means it's still in copyright but unfortunately the map doesn't seem to be working too well and in fact it shows nothing in the Mitcham area it does show Thornton Heath Croydon Carshorton but a more recent website, which I think is quite good, I'll put a link into the description. You can have a look at it for yourself. And the website is called Ghost Monuments. And he gives a nice little description there of the history of the boxes, how many there were. And he has photographs of the locations where the boxes were. And he's used a image of a police box and put it on the in the place. So he does actually show the Figs Marsh location the Smith Meters location and the Manor Road location. But I won't show them in this video because this is a recent work, copyright 2024. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you remember a police box near where you used to live in Mitcham, let me know. And I'll update the website, my website that is, Mitcham History Notes. Anyway.
consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already um press the like button if you like this and leave leave a comment and um bye for now